final level part two, ripping the jacker. On your way to meet Brett, you run into Kiki, complete enough insults in the given time to make Kiki break down so you don't miss Brett. How long are we given? Is this a time limit? 159. Uh, get out of my way, Kiki. Make me. Thanks for hooking up with my boyfriend. My pleasure. Uh, uh, I really thought he was the one. You did? Until I discovered he was such an awful boyfriend until I found out he was a whale hunter. Shut the fuck up. I'm not fat. I just put on some weight. God, what's your fucking issue, girl? I wonder why I never hooked up with him. You didn't? Oh, yeah, because I didn't want to. Oh, yeah, because of his disease. Yeah, right. You're lying. What disease? The guys seem to want to hook up with you. Of course. But they always want to date me. They want to date me, too. They just like my downstairs a little more. That's nothing wrong with that. They do. Really, they do. I swear they've told me. And by the way, uh, remember when we first met? I remember hooking up with your boyfriend back then, and I remember hooking up with your boyfriend now. You were cute in your little sundress. Of course I fucking was. Now it's more of a moon dress. What's wrong with my dress? It's the same since I was in sixth grade. It's perfect. I'm perfect. You're nothing. We became friends the first time we met. Or remember prom? Hardly. Oh wait, your date took off with someone else and never showed up. He did not. His dog died. Did he really go with someone else? What the fuck? We became friends when we first met, unfortunately. Because no one else liked you. Just stop, please, Becky. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know why I hooked up with Connor. I was just so jealous of how everyone always loves you. They think you're so perfect, but me, they just want to hook up with me. No one ever loves me. Why don't they love me? Is there any way you can possibly forgive me, please? Of course, Kiki. Thank you so much. Like, I love you, I love you, I love you, Becky. I promise I'll never screw you over again as long as I live. I guess you better get going or else you'll be late to me, Brett. Well, I'm surprised we got through that. Because they actually gave us enough time. <laughs> Unlike the other one. Um, I think we're going to go uh, for another scene. Because that was really short. It's doing that glitch out thing again. It's just when it's like loading the letters. I have no idea what that is. Uh, I think something just fell outside of my room. But um, the final level part three. Old enemies, new friends. As you walk into the ski shop, you discover that Brett and Lucas are no longer there. However, there's a line of people waiting for service. See if you can help them and find out where Brett is. Help the customers and find out where Brett is. Okay. Uh, by the front door, you find a box containing a magic bandana, a camera. Yo, where's Brett? No, Leanne, Leanne, Leanne. Oh, you got more gall than a five-legged horse, bitch. Uh, the truth is, I hooked up with Elliot. It's good you're telling me the truth, even if you are an ant-eating goat herder. I didn't know you two were together. I swear. Well, I guess we ain't technically together, so that's sort of a good point. Sort of, hon, the only kind of, hun. And he, t and he told you he loves you. And I know he loves you. You really think? Or you just joshing my... Jonas. I have no idea what I'm going to... I can tell by the way he looks at you. Man alive, you was mighty perceptive. I made out with him to get back a corner. Ah, drastic men just call for drastic actions, I guess. The only one who tried to get you two together, and I feel awful. I don't know, man. What's this other one? Uh, if I had known you two were trying to get together, I wouldn't have done it. Let's go with that. How ironical! We've both been through the same exact thing. Except Connor never really loved me. Elliot actually cares about you. Becky, we sure could have used you when we was breaking wild stallions. Thank you for your wise words, baby. No problem. Where's Brett? No, um... How's it going, Shayna? Can you please help me now? Uh, sure. Why not? Sweet, swiddly dee. Brett said there that my order would be there today. You should have stuff there. Sunglasses, a bandana, a camera, a hairpin. Do you have them? I think we just gotta use them. Um, sunglasses? You no longer have those. Anyone who wears sunglasses now is the grooviest person on the planet. But not on other planets where alien law requires it. 
which removes all individuality from the act itself, but, you know. Um, hairpin? You can't ski with your hair on your face, can you? You know, I'll grab the hairpin. Ha <laughs> ha! Whenever I think of the word hairpin, I can't help but chuckle. Hairpin. <laughs> See? I laugh. Every time. Hairpin. Ha ha ha! No, but, um, what else did you have? Camera? No longer the camera? You can't take pictures without a camera! Unless a break in space time continuum causes the freeze to morph into paper form. Uh, what was the last thing? The magic hat? Or the magic bandana or whatever? Alright, I think that's it. Brett said this was a magic bandana and anyone, anyone, and would hypnotize anyone who uses it. Word that it looks exactly like the non-magical bandana which costs three times less. Oh well, I'm sure the magic will come in handy during a photo shoot. That's everything. Radicalicious, Beckerton. Uh, you are the epitome of all I wish to be someday. May I please bask in your presence for seven more seconds before I have to leave? Time to go. Uh, see you later. Tell Brett I said thanks. Uh, I think we gotta talk to Elliot now. Oh man, oh man. Maybe just where's Brett? Yo, he should be at his apartment packing up. When he found out he knew what you and Erica told Erica, he freaked out. When he's worried about it, you gotta talk to him. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. He said something about going back home and getting out of your hair. I, I don't think he can deal with watching you date other guys anymore. Anyway, he's taking the 835 bus. It's 810 right now. You better hurry up, girlfriend. Shit, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll go now. Good luck. Checkpoint! Checkpoint, checkpoint. Checkpoint, checkpoint. I don't have time for this, Sean. I really don't have time for this. Time for what, Beck? Are you- where are you going? What are you doing here? Go away to find Brett. I'm gonna go to find Brett. Where are you meeting him? At his apartment? Should I be honest with him? Yeah, at his apartment. He's not there! How the fuck do you know? I guess, seriously, how do you know? I just saw him! Where? Yeah, right. I'm serious. I saw him here a couple minutes ago. He was just passing through. Where was he going? I was just there. I didn't see him. I can't believe you're lying to my face. I was just there and I didn't see him. It was only like five minutes ago. Just tell me where he is. Just tell me where it is. Are you lying to me? No, Beck. I love you. I'm not lying. Where is he? Why do you want to know so bad? On your beeswax, Captain Retardo. Because I need to find Brett, you moronic, retarded, idiotic, jackass piece of crap. Sean, please tell me where Brett is. Sean, please tell me where he is. I'm just wondering what's going on. As your ex-boyfriend, I do feel some responsibility for you. Even if you hate me. Because I'm in love with him. No, because he's in love with me. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it was like that. I'm sorry, you better hurry up and get to him. He was going on the nature trail, I think. And why would you help me? Because I feel awful for how I treated you. Yeah, right. I guess I trust you. After all you put me through, I don't trust you for a second. I guess people deserve second chances, I trust you. Awesome, I promise I'm not lying back. Of course, I've promised that before and broken it. M many times, actually. Anyway, good luck, honey. Thanks. And good luck with Brett. Shut the hell up. Sure thing, baby. Later. I guess we're continuing. Should we just keep going? You might as well. Alright, uh, final level part four. Blast the past. Connor's planning to sabotage your and Brett's relationship. Stop Connor before Brett arrives. Okay, what are we doing? We're starting the scene is what we gotta do. Good evening. Becky, we're timed. Go away. Make me. 
You're such an embarrassment. Why is that? Your best friend hooked up with me. He didn't know what he was doing. He was sleep deprived. He certainly was. Shut up! Your father still pays your rent, so a lot of people still live off their parents. There's nothing wrong with that, I swear. Your friends like me more than you. No, they don't. They just don't know you that well. Elliot does. Oh, shit! Um, uh, can't believe you still get an allowance. I can't believe you never had a job. I can't believe you don't have to work. It's still get an allowance. I do not. It's called a stipend. It's called a loser. You're such a waste of skin. Nobody likes you. People don't like you. They like your money. That's not true. They'd still like me. Just not as much. Not as much meaning not as all. You okay there, Connor? Just shut up, okay? Oh my god, you okay there, Connor? I think we should get back together, bro. No, you don't. I'm serious. I really miss you. I don't believe you. Um, I thought about it and I want to give you a second chance. You can't be serious about the second chance. I guess I'm just lonely. I miss the way you used to hold my hand. I miss the way you used to hold my hand. You serious? I guess I'm just lonely. Well, that was actually a thing. You. Uh, 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 That's what I thought. I think we're gonna lose this one, because it doesn't matter. Alright, I gotta, I gotta tear through these things. I'm gonna go back to where I was. You may realize nothing's more important than you and me. Wow, I didn't even realize you felt like that. So what do you think? I love you so much, Becky. I never felt like this before. And if I'm hearing you right, I think I feel the same way. So what do you say? Uh, ha 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 ha. Definitely, I'll schedule you in for a nice time between when pigs fly and when hell freezes over. I see. <coughs> oh, snorty snort. By the way, I just saw your father. No way you didn't. I ran into him at the tap room. You did not. I invited him to sit at my table. No, you didn't! He ordered the steak. Steak is his favorite! He even paid for my meal. And the wine. Oh my god, Dad! He offered me a ride home. What happened after that? I never kiss and tell. Becky! Uh, we both calm, Daddy. Oh god, I can't believe this happened. Hey, Connor. Huh? Awesome! No way did that just happen! Alright, I guess I gotta get back there before time runs out. It's so stupid. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Alright, never kiss and tell. Now we both call him daddy. Oh god, I can't believe this happened. Uh, hey, Connor. <laughs> awesome! Uh, hey, Bex. Hey, Brett. Yes! Oh my god, I was literally fucking like 12, like... Maybe three seconds off last time. That's so stupid. But I made it back. God, timed events like this are so annoying. Oh my god. It's so crazy. Alright, let's continue. Is this the final of the finals? What? Excuse me. Final level. Part 5. Moments of truth. You finally find Brett at the nature trail. Time for the moment of truth. Fix your relationship with Brett. Let's fix it. Okay. Hey, Brett, I've been looking for you everywhere. Hey, guys. What are you doing here, Kiki? I just thought you may want to know about Becky's little secret. What? Um. Let's see. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Yeah, what are you talking about? Becky, you don't want her to know about Lucas. What about Lucas? Nothing. Kiki, can you please stop? Oh my god, I have no idea what you're talking about, because you, you're not making any sense. Me neither. He's the reason she wanted you to come to the mountain. Becky? Just ignore that stupid bitch. She's just mad because I ripped her a new one. Oh yeah? The only reason she asked you to come with us is so she could hook up with Lucas. Because she knew you'd bring him. She wouldn't do that. 
Kiki, I'm gonna break your fucking face, you pitiful little bitch. Uh, that's right, I wouldn't. Have you ever known Kiki to tell the truth? <laughs> not really. She didn't even want you to come, except she had no other way of meeting him. She had only seen him in pictures, and you were you were her in. Wow. Right, you don't believe her, do you? Like, come on, bro. Help me out here, Becky. Of course not. Oh, Kiki. What? <laughs> awesome. I have no idea what happened. Whoa, that was intense. Well, so how's it going, Beck? It's, um... It's been a long day, I guess. So, tell me about it. So you were gonna leave without saying goodbye? Who told you that? I've just been trying to collect my thoughts. I kinda have something to lay on you. Lay it on me, fool. Lay it on me! No, so I hear. You heard from who? Everyone knows, bro. Oh, God, come on. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. I love you. I've loved you since the second grade when you pelted my head with the rock on the playground. I loved you when you kissed me in the fifth grade and there was a foot-long string of drool hanging between us afterwards. Blech. I still loved you when you wouldn't talk to me for three days because you were in your hippie phase and I bought those leather boots. I really loved you when my grandfather died and you didn't leave my side once for two months straight. I even loved you when you went out with Damon, the quarterback chump, in the ninth grade and barely saw any of us that whole winter break. I loved you so much when you got mad because I was considering going across the country for school. I loved you again when we went to the prom with other people but just ended up hanging out and talking to each other the entire night. I thought about you when I went to bed last night and I woke up this morning and every second in between. At this point, I think it's pretty safe to say I'll never stop thinking about you. So, uh, wow. I guess I always knew. You never said anything. So what do you think? I think you make better friends. No, I think I'm in love with you too, Brett. Let's, let's go for that. You what? How long have you felt this way? Since we were little kids. No, probably since high school. Wow, I had no idea. But why didn't you say anything then? Well, you were dating someone. I'm hoping. We weren't too young. It wasn't any time. You're right, we both were. And you put up a lot of, you put a lot of thought into this. Uh... I thought it was just a phase. I really've been thinking about it for so long. I thought it was just a phase. I know what you mean. And why'd you want me to go out with Erica? It had been so long. Well, I mean, she liked she's liked you as long as I had. You mean since high school? And you're completely sure you want to do this? I've never been so sure of anything. Um, oh my god, maybe it's not too good a day. I'm a little worried our friendship will be over. I was worrying about the same thing. What if it doesn't work anymore and we can't be friends? Oh my god, no. Uh, but then again, that means we're already halfway there. My thoughts exactly. And what about Elliot? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, uh, duh. I was just using him. Do you use people often? What happened? That's none of your fucking business, boy. Um, seriously though, whoever told you that must be lying. I was so angry at Connor and I wanted revenge. Yeah, he was pretty awful to you, let's be real. Thankfully, I know you love me no matter what mistakes I've made. That might even be a thing. I don't want to talk about it anymore. No, mistakes. Thankfully, you're completely correct. Remember when you went on that blind date with Danny? Oh, Jesus Christ. Only because you fucking made me. Mm, what about it? No, when did that happen? No, what about it? Well, I sort of kind of did it to see if you had feelings for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. I do the same thing for you. Why the hell did you do that? It's okay. No, um, it was the same thing. You would? Also, about Connor. It's okay, you don't need to explain that one. No, like I probably should. I guess you're right. He definitely hurt me, he didn't mean anything. He was in love of my life. He didn't mean anything. Nothing. But I used him for his body. But he didn't turn out to be the person I was expecting. That sounds pretty middle of the road. 
You mean a total bastard? And I'm glad that's actually all over now. And I'm actually, um, and um, and it's actually a good thing that all went down. Why is why is that? Because I stole his credit card. Because I otherwise I wouldn't have realized how amazing you are. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just a little worried you're saying all this without fully thinking it out. You know I've been practicing my whole life. Oh, I've known you practically my whole life. And you and I always get along. Right? Always? Always? Never? Haven't always? And you and I haven't always gotten along, I guess. And we don't always agree on everything. But you've been there for me no matter what. But you're usually there for me when you can do. But you're never there for me! No, but you've always been there for me. Sometimes, when I look at you, you make me laugh without even trying. Without even trying, Breaderoni. I need you, my Becker. My Becker to need your Breaderoni. That's so stupid. Without even trying, and nothing is sexier than that. Other people that know us. Always get you. No, um, they, they don't. They don't always get you. They never get you. They don't always get you, and they don't always get me. This sounds so fucking corny. But we'll always get each other. Wow. Soul. How is it scientifically plausible for one woman to be so damn perfect? Just biological, I guess. Guess so. The end! The true end to Sprung. Brett and Becky, full complete story. Look at her butt! That thing is so big. She makes some good money at the at honey cam. But that's looking like that's it for Sprung, guys. A little BS series just to pass the time. Well, it's tough at first to think that think of Brett as more than your best friend, you soon come to realize that everything you loved about him before only makes you as more than your best friend. You soon come to- oh wait, hold on. You s I gotta reread that. You soon come to realize that everything you loved about him before only makes your love for him that much stronger now. You and Brett spend the rest of your lives together. It's more exciting than you could have ever imagined. And we're done. I would like to save. Because what's after this? Credits- Baby, got 48% of the items. Uh, maybe if the other file carried over, we could have uh, definitely, definitely had more. I'm not sure. Um, I also don't know if I really want this to play out because it's just taking so long, and I'm pretty tired. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was sprung. Uh, Becky's story, I feel like, was a lot longer. I could be wrong about that. There's Heimlich Danny. But, um... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so that was, that was, that was that. Um, fun little thing to get back into. You know, I kind of left that incomplete. Like, I left many series back in the day. Uh, but I just wanted to, you know, tie up those loose ends. It was pretty fun. You know, you got back in and you got to hear the voice acting again. <laughs> How fun was that? But, uh, yeah, guys, join me next time for another series. Maybe something new, I'm not sure. But it'll definitely be interesting.